Um, oh yeah, I muted that. <laughs> I muted the sound from this game, didn't I? Uh, where is it? Machine. Welcome, Isaac. I'm just uh, setting up the audio. I lost audio for a while when I was playing this. Um, I was playing it earlier. I was, I was capturing some images for Legend of Zelda 2, and now the audio doesn't seem to be working. Um, I am just finishing up I just beat Lich, so I'm about to take on Gurgu Volcano. I just got the canoe, so that's where I am right now. Mixer. That could be it. Okay, yeah. The audio was really fucking quiet. <laughs> it was, the mixer was off, not the uh, actual game. Zombie Final Fantasy 15 needs a canoe. Well, they have a car. That's kind of like a canoe, isn't it? Okay. Um, yeah, that's, uh, hopefully the game audio is good. Set the response rate to 8, and let's go. I also did a shitload of grinding, so my characters are at level 20 right now. Hopefully they should not be doing too much trouble. Yeah, those should be fine. Now that my black belts are at a considerable level, they are able to completely spoke this game and cause scorpions to run away. So hopefully we wouldn't run into too much trouble once we head on into here. with lightning. I probably should have bought some houses while I was in that area. Awesome. I hope you, I hope, how'd you... How did you like the game? I really liked Deus Ex. Unfortunately, I'm probably not going to continue it on stream because I got all this other stuff happening now. Tried to trick you with that river over there. Oh no. Uh, hit you with some ice. Yeah, the one thing I didn't like about Deus Ex was the ending. It felt like they gave you a bunch of options that were all. It felt like all of your choices really didn't matter in the end. It's just all the all the choices were just there for you. It didn't matter what choices you made throughout the game. It's just the very final choice. It's almost like what they did with Mass Effect. Oh god. I have I have houses, I'll be fine. 
you don't, you, sh you don't need more than about two houses at a time. Jake, you go up there. Isaac, you go in the back row. Before I go in, use a tent. Now, the thing about Gurgu Volcano, you start encountering deadly floor tiles. Which deal, um, I think they deal one damage to each character per hit. So it's really not that bad. If I wanted, I could skip past all this and just head straight to the left. But I'm not going to do that quite yet. Is that a retweet from you, Isaac? Yes, it is. Thank you, Isaac, for the retweet. And we got Wizard Ogres. Hit them all with Ice 2. Since we are in a volcano, Ice 2 should be... Should do quick damage to most enemies that we encounter here. And I didn't have anybody attack that green ogre, so I'm going to be taking some damage. And a friend, I just heard a friend of mine is going to be sending me a video capture device for console, so I will be able to stream uh, Final Fantasy IX and up, and up from the actual console. So that's going to be awesome. And we're fighting fire here. He's weak to ice. And I will probably also be streaming some other stuff. I really want to try streaming Dark Souls. And L.A. Noir is a really fun game, too. We have Silver Helmet, which is useless to me. I believe this is a spike tile here. Yep. Two fires. Wow, that's not dealing much damage at all. Oh wait, no, that was Sono. I thought that was Bob that attacked her. That attacked the fire monster. And we get a bunch of gold. Now if I wanted, I could just keep grinding here for... Yeah, I'm gonna punch fire. <laughs> and not only that does he punch him, he deals considerable damage to them, so... Um, I don't think any of these guys actually are weak to ice, so I'm gonna save my ice for the others. Ah, shit, I hate Ruse. What are you waiting for, Isaac? Cast your spell already! I need to send them both up against the Wizard Ogre, because he has Ruse on, so he's going to be really hard to hit. There we go. See, he only hit him twice. It's Muck. They evolved from, from Grimer. Oh no, Sono! Would an inverted Muck be... I'm not even gonna go there. So no, you gotta heal yourself. You... Mm, 
I don't know what to do with you. I don't want to waste your spells. Whatever, I'll just attack with you. Holy crap. I don't know how his setup is supposed to be. I don't know what the heck these monsters are supposed to be doing. Hey, Kataro, glad you could make it. I don't know if you're here when I was announcing it, but I am going to be getting a video capture device, so I will be able to stream from the actual consoles for Final Fantasy IX and on. Which is going to be awesome. It also means I'll be able to stream other stuff, like stuff on my 360. So, I'm planning on doing things like Dark Souls and L.A. Noir just to help me get through those games. Because I have a friend who's a huge Dark Souls fan, so I'm going to have him on stream kind of helping, talking me through the, the different levels. We got some gold! Perilisk shit. I always just run from these guys. These guys are not worth it. Giants, those are not as much trouble. Smash Brothers for Wii U, I was able to play that this weekend. It plays really well. I, I really like how it plays. Shit, Jake, oh no. I should probably use some of my potions instead of my spell charges. Well, if you don't like the stages, you, that's what the stage builder's for, I guess. Of course, I was playing against this guy who, every time you hit random, it was Final Destination. I mean, he was, he let it go up. We got up to about seven players, I think was the maximum, but he never turned items on still. It's like, what the hell, man? Why didn't I heal? Uh, use heal two, because that works as heal three. Most fun in Smash Brothers 4 is eight players with all items on, so. <laughs> oh god. Run! Good job, Bob. Yeah, eight players, you can't see shit. You really do need a fairly large screen for that. But I do like the fact that you can sync your 3DS to the Wii U and play on that. That is amazing compatibility. I love that. I love that fact. Yeah, I really interest, I'm really interested in using the Mii Fighters, because you could make... with Since Mii's in there, it, you're not limited to just Nintendo characters. You could have Gandhi versus Hitler, if you wanted. <laughs> Which I may do. I may have Gandhi, Obama, Hitler, Goku, who gives a shit.
Yeah, Bayonetta, Adam Jensen. You're not limited. You're not limited to just Nintendo characters anymore. Holy fuck. Wow, those guys don't have much health. Shit. Look how much damage these guys are dealing. Holy crap. It's because they keep casting fire too. Freaking red gargoyles. Not fun to fight. At least they drop a shitload of gold. Okay, now we gotta heal up again. I'm not sure what kind of amiibo I want. Because I want it to be a character that I would get even if I didn't have the game. I, want, I would want it to be a character that I really like. So, maybe a Bowser or King Dedede. King Dedede would be great. Samus is another particular uh, potential one. Yeah, King Dedede isn't out yet, unfortunately. I did pick up the game, though, but I don't have a Wii U yet. <laughs> I picked it up and I traded a couple Steam games that were in my inventory for somebody else's Club Nintendo code for the 3DS game. So I am going to be getting the soundtrack CD and the Mewtwo DLC. And since I don't have the 3DS version... And so, oh god. More fire. And since I don't have the, 3, the 3DS version, I'll probably be able to trade away my Mewtwo DLC code. Yeah, I was asking everybody I knew if they had a 3DS code and hadn't registered it yet. But I, I actually had like a whole list of people on my list, on my friends list that I'd asked. I was talking to people I hadn't talked to in years just to ask, the, do you have uh, Smash Brothers for the 3DS? You'll have to fire three. Groger, go. Although I did hear some news today about um, about the new Metroid games for the Wii U and 3DS. They're just rumors. They were on like a 4chan forum. So I'm taking them with a grain of salt. But if they are true, I'm definitely going to be picking up a 3DS because there's going to be a new Metroid game for it. But that's down the line. That's once the Metroid game actually comes out. Fire. No, Paralisks. Okay. Run! Oh shit, he killed Bob. You bitch. That's why I don't like the Paralisks. They can cast squ Squint and kill you instantly. Sono, use what I brought you here for.
Another silver helmet. Silver glove. Heal potion. Cabin. Ooh, a gray worm. Oh shit, I forgot to rearrange my party. There we go. That's not too bad. I've already been to that one. Already been to that one. The last time I went to GameStop was actually a couple weeks ago. I went there and I spent my... I spent the gift cards that I've had for over a year. I got them for last Christmas. And I spent those and a little bit extra just to pick up the new Smash Brothers. I, I bought a game that I can't even play yet. <laughs> But then I also have a Blu-ray of the Angry Video Game Nerd movie, and I don't have a Blu-ray player. Sono gets a level up, yay. Alright, now I gotta shift these guys around. Bob, you go there. Sona, you go there. Oh god, no. Red go red goils. It's an Argoyle. <laughs> Shit! Ah, Isaac's dead. I should have healed up. And that's my last, uh, healing charge. South from here. Yeah, I'm probably gonna clear out this floor and then head back up to the surface to refill my spell charges. My friend let me borrow um, Tales of Symphonia 2. But I haven't tried it yet. This corridor is empty, isn't it? You son of a bitch. <laughs> the corridor is completely empty. Peds. Dawn of the New World isn't very good? Huh. I'll have to take your word for it. I, I haven't tried it yet. Yeah, I'm gonna have to head back out and refill my charges first. Paralisks, run. Just run. Run your ass away. You may recognize this music, it was remixed in Final Fantasy IX. Alright. Let's heal up with the house. Now, the weird thing about this game is 
you use it to refill your magic, but it doesn't restore your MP until you until after it saves. So if I were to die here and come back, my MP would be at the same level it was before I used the house, but my health would be restored. So what you want to do after you use the house, you use a tent as well. And then save. Yeah, I still have items that to use, don't I? The thing about this is that it doesn't heal you all the way either. That's weird. Alright, I, I refilled my charges, and we're ready to skip that second room. A bull! A bunch of scorpions, and it's a preemptive strike, isn't it? Rush through. Scorpions are running away. Jake is poisoned. All the scorpions are running away from me. Why did you attack me if you're just gonna run away? Isaac gets a level up. I guess that's why he's in the front row now. I'll have to take your word for the legendary dogs. I know of them, but I've never encountered them. Player can't escape. Why would you try to escape from fighting the legendary dogs? Thankfully, the lava doesn't do that much damage to it. I think it's one damage per step. Yeah, that's silly. They they run if they're frozen. Isaac needs healing? Yes he does. Oh shit. <laughs> Whoops. I've been walking through the fire too much. I love that half a second loop, don't you? <laughs> I had an idea for a t-shirt that I want to try to sell, so like the... It's a very, very fringe joke, but there's at least one person I know that would buy it. Um, I'm gonna... Let me see if I can bring it up on stream in a second, just after this battle. It's a very, very obscure joke that you may get if you're familiar with games, but not the furry zygote. <laughs> um, I may do that. I don't know. I, I still, I do want to kind of bring back my t-shirt shop, because I had some pretty nice stuff in there. Well, the furry zygote thing, um, other people may still use it, I and mean, it could be used for other things as well. It's not necessarily a reference to just that, which is why, why a lot of shirts, a lot of shirts don't really, f don't really fit right, because they're only a reference to something else, and they only make sense if you understand that reference. Some shirts are good just on their own, and they're also a reference to something else. But yeah, let's open up the, uh... Yeah, this is yeah. Th this is the uh, design I was going for. Yeah, it's incredibly obscure. I mean, it's obviously Super Mario Brothers three, but 
the idea is that speed the hands are always the bait of any Super Mario Brothers three speedrunner. So if they encounter the hands, that's basically fifteen seconds off of their run, or fifteen seconds added to their run that they cannot possibly avoid. And pretty much every speedrunner is banking against getting any hands. In it basically destroys every run. And if you can get through through with zero hands, that's that's what you have to do to get a world record. And it's at the end of the game. So you can get have perfect time going into World 8, and you get three hands. That just fucks up your entire run. So, yeah, it's a, sort of a tongue-in-cheek reference. Look, Mom, three hands. So, yeah, I know at least one person that would buy that, and he's a uh, Super Mario Bros. 3 speedrunner. Well, of course, nobody said speedrunning was easy. If speedrunning was easy, everyone would do it. <laughs> uh, there's another one that... <laughs> Oops. I did not want to close that. The Haunter used mean look one, or yeah, um, it's not the it's not that one I was looking for, but it's the one where uh, Haunter uses mean look and then Entai can't run away, and then the guy flips off his Game Boy. He's like, ha! I believe mean look does actually. Um, Chuck and Conroy managed to get all three dogs using I something like that. So again, I'm talking, I'm giving the praises to him. Yeah, I have seen that one too. Ghastly forgot me and look. Fucking wizard ogres. Ruse again. Still terminated. Emulate, emulate. I built a I built a Dalek in Minecraft and I put up the sign Procrastinate. I have to marathon the rest of Doctor Who because it's being removed from Netflix this week, this month. So I have three weeks to watch 84 episodes. Yeah, there's a bunch of BBC stuff being removed from Netflix. Doctor Who, Faulty Towers, I believe Black, Black Books. Well, it's not, it's not being permanently removed, they're just renegotiating the contracts. So it's being removed until they can do that. My background just changed to a Zubat. I'm good. A pure potion. 880 gold. Ice sword. And random battle.
Yeah, the fucking ads with Hulu Plus, that's bullshit. People try to compare it to cable, and they're like, no, fuck you. That's, the internet is not cable. Like, you pay for the cable, and you still get ads on, on there. It's like, I don't pay for cable anymore, I watch everything on, online. Nintendo Direct on the 14th. That could be what they were talking about. That could be what they're talking about. I saw this uh, the, with the thing I saw on 4chan. They may be talking about it during Nintendo Direct. But of course, your mileage may vary. I accepted it with a grain of salt. But if they do announce a new Metroid game, that's going to be awesome. Metroid is the only series that I've played every game in. Not just all of the main games, every game in the Metroid series. Unless you count, like, Metroid Prime Hunter's first hunt, which I don't. Kill the Grey Worm! And, and First Hunt was just a demo, so it's like saying you played every Final Fantasy except for the Final Fantasy VII demo. I am running out of heal potions. Bullshit. <laughs> that was worthless. Shin Megami Tensei cross fire emblem. Mm. Uh, the one game that I was really interested in was Pokemon Conquest. Because I, I just fucking love turn-based strategy games. Oh, it's a Cerberus. Or Cerebus. Which may be a... I don't know if that's supposed to be a misspelling of Cerberus, or if it's a pun on Cerberus and Mount Erebus. If it... I'm pretty sure it's the former, but if it's the latter, that's pretty damn clever. Or Mount Erebus, I guess it would be called. Welcome, Johnny. Glad you could make it. Kill the Agama. The Agama is the first creature listed in the bestiary that came with the game. Random battle! Another Rogama. Um, I'm going to cast Heal 2. And Ice. Oh no, Johnny left. Maybe he had to log in or something. Shit, Zono! Damn, that heals a lot. There we go. Way to go, Bob. A wooden staff. Fuck you. <laughs> That's pointless to me. Um, I believe Southwest. Yeah, I know. I know Cure 2. That's what Cure 2 does. 
I know there's uh, special items all over here, which I may go back for later, but I want to take out Carrie first. Carrie, Kali, whatever. Actually, it's supposed to be Merilith. Yeah, it's not even supposed to be Kali, it's supposed to be Merilith. Sona broke through 100 HP. Alright. It's battle time. Is it you, the tinder that defeated the fiend of Earth and disturbed my sleep? I, carry, will show you the force of fire and shall burn you in its flames. That's how I imagine Carrie talks. With that very deep voice. I am first going to start out by casting Anti-Fire on everybody. Now I will blow the shit out of you with Ice 2. Stop hitting your pop, pop filter. HOLY SHIT! She just one shot at Isaac. There goes my DPS. Well, fuck. Uh, I don't think I can cast life in bat. I can? Holy shit. It doesn't work in battle. Shit. No, this game does not have reflect. This is an incredibly primitive NES game. And, well, by Final Fantasy standards, I guess. It was, this is actually very advanced for NES at the time. But in, in terms of Final Fantasy games, yes, it's incredibly, incredibly basic. You can only buy one item at a time. And Isaac loses out on a shitload of XP, too. And it wasn't too much. Only 800. There's not even any chocobos in this game. Tell me that wasted your your spell charge. Yes, it did. Shit. <laughs> nope, no Cactors, no Sids, and yeah, until the remake. There is a Bahamut, and there is a tail that you use as a proof of your... As, as just a proof that you had, did something. You use it, as, it's, it's sort of a optional reward. They do have the Adamant and the Excalibur, which I won't be, I won't be picking up in this run because there's no point. And now that Carrie is dead, I can use the rest of my ice spells with impunity. I won't be picking up the Excalibur because I don't have anybody that can wield it. Anyone can equip it? I thought that was the Masamune. I thought anybody could equip the Masamune. Yeah. The Excalibur only a fighter can equip. Or a knight. Kill them, Isaac. Deal your ice damage to the fire.
Yeah, that's what I'm planning on doing when I get it. Agama. See how Lightning 3 does. Well, I did just do a shitload of grinding before I stopped, so... A red dragon, oh lovely. Kill the red dragon. Yeah! There we go. You better be worth it. Flame armor. And another Ergama. Uh, lightning three. That's probably one of the only throughputs to the rest of the Final Fantasy games that you are in that is in this is the victory theme. Fire. Yeah, the overture. Um also the prelude theme. The the prelude and the prologue. That plays once you step over the bridge. Nothing! Uh, heal up. Oh dear, wizard ogres. Uh, attack you and... Let's hit all lightning. I've heard a lot of really good things about Bravely Default. Of course, I, I have a 3DS, so it never really crossed my radar of a possible game to pick up. God damn it. You son of a bitch! Grey Worms! You do not get in random battles in lava. That is... at least that's good. Um, I have no... Treasure box is empty! Two more co two more corners to get. Not that one attack. Actually, I'm just gonna have you cast Cure. 
And I'll have you use fire. There we go. Oh no, Bob! Oh no, Isaac! Bitch. Last one. Damn it. Well, at least I know what's where. Alright, off to the exit. Uh, I should be okay. Make it. And there we go. And that was Gurgu Volcano. First step, save. Use the tent and save. Next step, head back to the city and buy all my potions again. <laughs> I went through a hundred potions in that goddamn forest. In that goddamn volcano. Yeah, 100, because I started with 99 and I picked one up when I was in there. Okay, I'm going to take Jake out of the front row. gonna run from this battle. This is not as troublesome, although Jake is almost dead. It really didn't start getting easy, I guess, until maybe Final Fantasy 4. Final Fantasy 4 is not that difficult. But again, Final Fantasy IV had the one that was easy type. But damn, I do have a lot of fucking gold. <laughs> That's the clinic. And now to just spam buying potions. <laughs> By the time I reach 302, I should be almost done. So, what should we talk about during this uh, buying session? <laughs> uh, I'm getting more uh, messages on my phone. Who's, is that more retweets? Rosenhacker and Ryan Molina favorited Horror Guru's treat, tweet. Um, what Final Fantasy game are you most looking forward to in Final Fantasy Fest?
six and ten. Yeah, the, I never played ten all the way, or I never played six all the way to the end. Nine, I I rather liked. I did kind of think it was kind of bullshit that you had to basically keep all your items on you the whole time. But I, with a guide, I guess you can help negate that a bit. Personally, I'm looking forward the most to 4 and probably 12. Least looking forward to, ironically enough, 7. But that's just because I played through it last year as well. Which wasn't a complete playthrough either. So, Bob's flame armor. So, Bob's flame shield. Wait, can you guys use these shields? Yeah, it's, it's seven and thirteen that I'm looking forward the least, mo the least to. The PSP version of four is great. I wish they had ported that one to Steam instead of the DS version. Nothing against the DS version, but Final Fantasy IV is on the PSP is just amazing. Uh, let's check your armor trade. Can I equip this on you? No, I can't. Okay. Um, one second. Let's see, items. Items used in battle. Yeah. Fixing the ice element, okay. Okay, um, I don't think I have anything that can actually be used in battle. Bunch of silver armor, opal, prower, silver, no, 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 okay. Let's try your weapons. Coral sword, great axe, silver axe, wooden, silver, silver, silver. Ice sword. Silver axes, great axes, no abilities, nothing special. Uh, wooden staff does nothing. Okay. This stuff can all be sold. Sell Bob's flame shield. Sell Jake's everything. Uh, 
Uh, those are all yours, so Isaac's crap now. Right now I need to go into the weapons shop. Buy, sell. Sell Bob's Coral Sword. Sell Bob's Great Axe. No, so don't buy. Sell Bob's Great Axe. Yes. You have to be diligent with these. Let's see, can I buy any more magic? And up, Bob. Uh, learn for Sono. Um, soft exit fog and invisibility. Which of these are bugged is the question. <laughs> Magic. Actually, I have a thing right here. But it actually it doesn't say what it does. Soft exit fog and invisibility too. Soft exit fog. Coming soon, coming soon, coming soon. Lovely. Um, well, I can't learn exit until I become a wizard, so. Fog 2 might be good. Oh no, that that's that's not sixty that's not six hundred and twenty thousand, that's level six twenty thousand. Yeah, that it's it's kind of off. But yeah, that's level six, twenty thousand. Yeah, I'm gonna pick up Fog 2. That increases your absorb. And Soft would be useless. I guess I'll pick up Invisibility. Rub, Quake, and Stun. I remember I had to... I had to... I was worried for a while which of these I wanted to actually pick up. Rub, Quake, and Stun. This website doesn't actually have those things completed. How old is this damn site? Because I used to go back on this thing like 10 years ago. I already have Thundaga. I was using that in the thing. I was using that in the volcano. Okay, before I go, I'm going to rest in the inn to save. And I 
want to see if there's a faster way to the ice cave. Let me open up the map here. A one-to-one -one scale map. Perfect. Uh, let's see. If I start up here... Yeah, okay. Alright, so I gotta go north. Well, I mean, I have... You see how much money I have. It's not like it's not like p paying to stay at the end is that much of a issue. But now that I have the canoe, I could theoretically go north to get class change, which would be interesting. But Well, if you're knee-deep in a dungeon and need to stop playing, most people would play this game on an emulator anyway. <laughs> it's not that big of an issue anymore. Well, if you die and have to go back, that's like, com that's just standard operating procedure for a lot of video games, so that's really nothing that you should complain about. That's just how video games work these those back then. Because it was still on the specter of the arcade from back then. They were still going on games are supposed to be a shorter experience. They weren't so much about the storyline as just as being a challenge. They are supposed to kill you as quickly as possible to get your money. No, don't go south, go east or west. I mean, I I liked the Dawn of Souls version. I thought I thought it was okay, but this is the version I grew up in, and I like how different it is. I like that you have to learn to, yeah, fuck all the bravest, fuck everything about that game. <laughs> Let's not even talk about that thing in chat. In fact, can I delete that message from you? Yeah. All the bravest is twenty is like a shitload of DLC looking for a game. All the bravest is crap. <laughs> I even tried to install all the bravest on my Android on my phone because I'm a glutton for punishment, and it wouldn't even let me do that. It wouldn't run when I tried to launch it, so I guess my phone was trying to protect me. Alright. Actually, no, I'm not going in here quite yet. The ice cave is... Probably one of the hardest areas in the game. Not... I guess, uh, not counting the final dungeon. Because it is so meandering, and there are a lot of really, really powerful enemies in there. So, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use a tent. Just to save. And head on in. This one, I will probably be able to do it in one trip. And there's just some wizards. If I wanted to be cheap, I might just run from all the battles until I get the item I need. 
And look how huge this freaking map is. I think I'll try that. I think I'll try running from the enemies. <laughs> okay, that doesn't quite work well. Yeah, Dissidia is another game that I really want to get for the PSP if I ever do get one. Theatrhythm is, yeah, Theatrhythm is another thing that I'm really looking into for a DS, or for 3DS. Wraiths. More wraiths. Run. Wraiths and specters. See, and here you have to drop down the holes to continue. The item I need is right in the center there. Mages. Shit. And they look just like Astos. Crap, um, gear three on Isaac. Why did I do that? Shit! Fucking mages. Um, fuck it. Lightning three. If mute is ineffective against mages, what is mute supposed to work on? God damn it, he rubbed out Isaac. And you and yeah, you can see how fucking brutal this dungeon is. I mean, look at that. I already got two guys dead. I've only been in, like, six battles. Mages are supposed to be squishy, but nope, not in that case. And there was only two of them. I think you could fight up to like five of them there. Welcome, John. Or Jake. Get out of there, mouse pointer. Um, I wanted to rearrange my party. Put Bob in second. And Sono in third. It wasn't even fucking worth it. It was a fucking piece of clothing. Uh. Sorcerers. Just run. And random battle. No, no random battle. The flame sword. Oh shit.
Let's whip some fire on your ass. Paralyzed, yep. There you go. And we're gonna have to fight that battle pretty much every time we come back in here. Because that's a mandatory battle. And these are sorcerers. Secure Jake, and with a lightning bolt up your ass. Okay. Kill him! Kill him, Jake! Kill him! Uh, ice! It's down here. I should go that way. Yeah. Battles! Wraiths. These guys shouldn't be too tough. Harm will help. And drop a nice two on him. Holy crap, that was a lot of damage. They really don't like Sono today, do they? That was a waste of a fire spell. Frost Wolves! These shouldn't be too tough. Your Jake again, and fire to you. Burn, motherfucker, burn! Eight hundred, hundred and eighty gold, and one, two, three, five, zero. Such a weird number. If it was five less, it would be one, two, three, four, five. Frost Dragon. Oh, lovely. How about some fire three for it for you? And that should do it. Yep. Level up, Isaac. Okay, I think I need to view their status screen because the. If you don't view their status screen, their stats don't actually update. Which actually can be useful if you... you What you do is you view their status screen, and then you give them armor like a ribbon. And that will keep the, the ribbon's protective abilities, but it'll keep their status... Their armor status from when they were unarmed. Which is really useful. Kill the wizard, Bob. There we go. What's in here? A heal potion. And 10,000 gold. Now, if you go into that 
if you go into those stairs, we are technically on the first floor right now. So if you go into those stairs, you will leave the cave. Which would not be good. Unless you are trying to leave, then that would be good. But, yeah, that's kind of a douche move on their part that they did. Kill the wizard, Bob! That was pointless. I'm just wasting my spell charges against these guys. I guess I just don't want Isaac to do nothing. Once I can get like a healing rod or something, I can start using heal every turn. That would be amazing. See, what you end up doing, you go up, then down, then up again, and then down. And you land right here. And a step to the left is a spiked tile with an eye on it. One of the hardest regular enemies in the game. So I am definitely going to heal up first. But he is also worth a shit ton of experience if you kill him. So I am probably going to grind on him for a little while. Because he's only a single enemy. I could take out single enemies very easily. Without having to worry too much about my health. Because he's only... He's, he will still only single target you. Instead of better than fighting a whole horde of them. Also, that's an, that's an awesome sprite, by the way. <laughs> um, it was actually changed from the original. The original sprite was actually quite literally a beholder from... Uh, it was quite literally a beholder from Dungeons and Dragons. There we go. <laughs> he drops no gold. Oh, a little bit of gold. It, yeah, he drops six hundred. The gazers. Um, in fact, let me see if I can bring that up on stream. Uh... They're bee holders? Oh, jeez. Yeah, there it is. This is the original Japanese sprite. It's it's a freaking beholder. <laughs> There's no two ways around it. That's a freaking beholder. So it was later changed into... And of course that's the original artwork by Yoshitaka Amano. But later on, they it became that NES version, DS version, GBA, and Final PSP, which is a really, really nice looking drawing like that. Look at that! Really nice quality, high definition sprite work there. Okay. And we found a floater. <clears throat> okay, what are my stats at right now? How close am I to another level? I'm level 21 on my fighters. And I'm level 22 on my mages. 33, 25, okay. These guys are... I'm gonna keep going at least until my fighters reach level 22.
The only thing you have to worry about is the death spells that he can cast. Which can get considerably annoying. But you can see how fast these battles are going. And that's 800, ex and that's 800 each EXP every time. So it's really good. And they already leveled up. Status, eight thousand. So that's eleven battles. Hang on a second. I'm rearranging my chair a little bit. I was sitting in one place for too long. See, so they don't have that much HP either. I think they only have about 300, 350 or so. No, less than that. It must be like 250. It's at least 246. Ah, shit, Isaac, no! Okay, my last life spell. Do I have any charges left? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I got... I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, I should... Yeah, I, I should get out of here. I, I don't have any life charges left, and I still have another le floor of the dungeon to get through to get out. Use harm, and... Fire three. It shouldn't be too troublesome. It shouldn't be too difficult. Um, I don't think there's any more mages to fight. Mages are the other ones that can cast rub. there's any items over here. Actually, there is a something over there. Red bones. These guys aren't too difficult. Especially when you have ice. Actually, ice doesn't do that much to them. Physical damage does. in the battle. There we go. Wow, just hitting him six times. You better be worth it. Spike tile. Uh, I don't have any... F I want to save that for a larger group. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> that would have been pointless if that had gone off. I got to fight him again, aren't I? Yep. There we go. Not quite as efficient as the eye, but we'll take what you can get. And nothing is. Nope, nothing over there. I shattered the ice dragon.
A sorcerer. As long as he doesn't... Ah, oh, damn it. Well, there goes Isaac. And there's nothing over here, either. Oh, well, Isaac is certainly gonna fall behind in the XP in the XP department. It's not Cthulhu, it's Davy Jones. Actually, like the Beholder, it's it's quite obviously a Mind Flayer. I've already been over there. So the fact that I was exploring the dungeon actually meant the demise of Isaac. The demise -ic. Because there is nothing else around here to actually pick up. Sorcerers. See, so, you, you, so technically we're on the first floor right here. That was the... Up there is the entrance where we came in, and over here is the first thing down to the next floor. So if you step out here, that takes you back out to the entrance. I'm sure so many people were exploring, and they went up the stairs, and they were out. And they're like, what the fuck just happened? Honestly, I want to say that's an asshole move, but that's pretty goddamn brilliant, actually. Because the way the dungeon is designed, you do come out on the top floor again. You go down, and then you have come back up, so you really have to pay attention to how the stairs are... The sound cut out, what? Okay. Um, I might have been holding down the, the button, I don't know. Because the sound cuts out when I do the throttle. I could, I could probably, I might be able to change that, actually. Sound, no, not sound, uh, options, timing. Would you prefer it like this? <laughs> or would you prefer it with no sound? The music sounds kind of interesting like that. And we're back on the ship. And we're into another battle. Back to wherever this place is. I want to say Crescent Lake. If that's the name of the lake. I don't know the name of the city. Oh, you bitch! Why are you running away? Don't you be doing that?
First up, I got to heal Isaac, so he can get some more experience. Next up, buy items. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm muting that sound again. <laughs> Why do I keep going to input? Timing. All right, topic again. <laughs> I won't need to buy quite as many this time, since I didn't go through all of them. Probably about 40 or so. Will it stop before 42, though? Nope. Will it stop before 41.9? That's it. And now I stay at the inn to save and heal up and get all my spell charges back. And we have the floater now, so we can go south and get the airship. You get the airship relatively soon in this game. Actually, no, we're about halfway done. We're about halfway through. Yeah, it's not a terribly long game if you know how, what you're doing. But if you don't, you're going to be wandering around for quite some time before you figure out exactly where you need to go. Kill the Red Sahagan and the Shark and get a tiny bit of experience. I believe it comes out right around here. The airship begins to rise from the desert! Yeah, it's pretty freaking weird. You find an ancient stone in an old cave and you use it to make an airship appear. Okay. And now you can fly anywhere in the map. We can go back to the Temple of Fiends. We can go back to Cornelia. Which I probably should have done that first. Because it would have been much cheaper, but it's not like I'm hurting for money. Yeah, they explain that there's no ports in the north. You can fly anywhere and land almost anywhere. Yeah, you can't land... You can't land in marshes. You can't land in forests. Unfortunately, you can't land on the coastline. And you can't land in the desert, obviously. Except for one other area. So this is the area you have to land next. Now, you can either take the river, which you're going to have to do, or you can brave on the swamps, because the river has different encounters than the main areas. The river is the same encounters as you were fighting down there. The main areas are slightly different guys. But I'll just stick to the rivers for now, because you have to take them all the way anyway. By cabins here. Nice. Of course, I already have a shitload of, fence of tents, so... My legs are so beautiful. It's so nice to have legs. I don't know what to say to that. Have you found Oxyale? Until 200 years ago, the mermaids lived in the shrine. Then, in... In fire and smoke, it sank. The mermaids? I think maybe she's descended from a mermaid or something, so... That's why... She has legs and she's bragging about them. She has legs and she knows how to use them. Something very strange. A vast G-Land lover, stay out of my way! Kopi says he saw a shining object fall. 
This is a tomb. This is CNN. This town was prosperous 200 years ago. Here lies Link. Actually, in this version it says, here lies Erdrick. Because that was the uh, protagonist from the Dragon Quest series. You can pick up Heal 3, which does not cost 745,000. It costs 45,000. Alright, she can't learn it. So... My next step is probably going to be to get class changed so I can learn all these new spells. I don't think Saber or Blind work. You have legs! <clears throat> My father runs the caravan. He is having a close a closeout sale near the oasis in the western desert. Fables say that when the shrine sank, many treasures are lost. Also, they tell of a cryptic stone plate. Out of the way, bitch. My brother, Dr. Uni, has studied Lefinish, the language of the Sky Warriors. He had the slab he could teach it. Oh, hi. No. See your face upon the clean water. How dirty. Come, wash your face. Yeah, you see weird shit if you talk to everything. Hey, it's a dragon. There's, there's just a random dragon here, of course. I saw Bahamut, but to be honored as a true warrior, I must return with proof of my courage. My name is Kopi. I saw it in the north, near the waterfall. Believe me, I think it was a robot. I made a submarine but to save the to save the mermaids, but to go deep enough it will require oxy ale. Okay. Which I don't have any oxy ale. Until two hundred years ago, the power of the water brought us good fortune. Out of the way. So, we have to find the Oxy Ale somewhere. I know where it is, but... I want to explore a bit more. See, it does get quite open-ended once you have the airship. So I will fly to the west with this area where you can't fucking land anywhere. And this is the area that we were leveling at the Power Peninsula, which is down here. So this area right here is actually part of a completely different section. This is where we should be able to fight the monsters. But you can't actually land anywhere around here. The nearest you could land is way the hell up here. And you have to land over here, you know, and that is where Lefian is. There's a random desert. Again, not very good places to land in it. But, over here is a small city. This, is, this town is Gaia. Welcome to the town of Gaia. Here you can buy level 8 magic. No, more level 7 magic, sorry. Can I buy Ice 3? Yes, you can. In 
the Sono will get Cure 4. Sono cannot get Cure 4. What's that broom up to? It's talking backwards! Do you have great power? Unbelievable! You are outsiders, right? How did you get this far north? We have a flying ship. Have you been to the city south of here? I cannot understand a word spoken there. I have wondered what language. Spoiler alert, it's Lefian. Lefianish. Legends say that the castle is in the west is the place to test courage. The fairy at the spring was kidnapped. Oh no! I saw a shining object flying towards the east. Only the f a fairy can draw Oxio from the spring. More magic. Okay. Level 8 magic. Nice. Fade, wall, expert. And black magic. Stop, zap, and X. I don't think I can cast any of these until I become a black wizard. So I will be back. Everybody's dressed in pink around here for some reason. Uh, you can buy cabins here. Hardy hard! You're too late! I bottled the fairy and sold her to a caravan! Oh, so that's where the fairy is. So we have to go see Underhill at the caravan. And get the fairy back. Anybody around here? Nope. So yeah, that's why I came there for. <laughs> Just as a... plot point, I guess. And this is where the caravan is. Now, you normally would have to land here and walk in, but due to programming error, you can actually land right on the caravan in the Oasis. And you can buy the bottle. There is no way around this. You have to buy the bottle for 50,000 gold. At this point in the game, I have never not had enough money, but I would imagine on a speed run, it might be difficult to do so. You may have to sell a lot of items to do it, but I have it. And you use the bottle and a fairy appears, then is gone. And now the Oasis is gone too. The bottle, if you were listening to the pirate in Gaia, he said that he bottled the fairy and sold it to the caravan. So you had to buy it back. <laughs> there is no way around it. You just have to buy the fairy back and free her. Moving faster. Not that way. And you have to go talk to the fairy. Hello. That pirate trapped me in the bottle. I will draw Oxio from the bottom of the spring for you. I don't know what Oxiel is. I don't know what it's supposed to be within the context of the game. Whatever it is, it lets you breathe underwater. So we need that in order to progress, because we need to go underwater. Well, where else are you going to fight the Fiend of Water? It's a Frost Gator. And a Red Caraba. Red Cariba? I don't know how to pronounce that. Little Caribo? Uh, Fire 3. Fire 3 your ass. That didn't do shit.
Tigers and a saber tooth tiger. All right, you take care, Isaac. I need to heal Jake. Let's try ice three on them. Wow, that didn't heal much at all. The tiger ran away. Huh. What a pussy. That was not deliberate. <laughs> I swear that pun wasn't deliberate. So now that we have the Oxiel, we can head down to the shrine. Warriors, you have Oxiel. The mermaids wait. Please help them. And she just disappears randomly. Unfortunately, you don't actually get to drive the submarine anywhere. You just go down into the shrine and there it is. But I am not actually going to go into the sea shrine yet. What I want to do is I want to get class change first. I usually do it as soon as I get the airship. But... You have two options for getting class change. Basically... What you well first I want to talk to the uh, dragons of Cardia because why not? Because the dragons are quite friendly and they're helpful. I think there's some items that you can get too, but yes, the Cardia Islands are right around here. Thankfully, there's no random battles here, but there is some items. We get a cabin, some skulls. Only the courageous ones bring back proof of their courage. Sound seemed a bit redundant. In the treasure box, you found 500 gold. And a soft potion. land on the marshes, so you gotta land over here. We are going to the castle of Ordeal in the northeast. There will be a test and bring back the proof of our courage. It's a well. Nothing here. What do you mean there's nothing here? There's a well right there. The proof of your courage might be anything. Very true. You found 10 gold. I hope I'm not taking these dragons' entire stashes. That would suck. 500. Once in the north, there were beautiful palaces and big mechanical castles. Random battle? No random battle. There's a random battle. A worm. Kill the worms. Bite the worm. And Isaac gets a level up. I was waiting for that. Oops. I was supposed to talk to you. If you meet, if you are brave enough, try meeting the King of the Dragons, Bahamut. Unprofitable business is not the practice of the Dragons of Cardia. Um, that's not a, that's preferably not a practice of anybody. Long ago, dragons and humans lived and traded together. Neat.
This is a long hallway. This is a very long hallway. And... Another, another very long hallway. We got candles. And... Hey, it's the Dragon King. This is Bahamut's room. The Bahamut verifies the true courage of all. I am Bahamut, King of the Dragons. Bring me proof of your courage and receive the honor due to true warriors. So that is our next test. We must bring back proof of our courage. Um, I haven't checked here yet, though. Is my proof of my courage in here? No, it's not in here. Just more dragons. Have you met Bahamut, the Dragon King? Yes, I did. He says I don't have proof of my courage yet. More treasures! 2,000 gold. 2,750 gold. And... 1455 gold. Any dragons over here to talk to? Ah, here's one. Are you not afraid of me? Then I am impressed. 9500. 1520. And now I'm trapped in here. And 160. Such random values of gold in this game. Anything up here? Nope. Empty. I think that was the last cave in Cardia. Except for a random battle where we fight a manticore. Okay. At least my black belts are able to one-shot pretty much anything I'm up against now. So yeah, we have you have two options for the castle ordeals. You can see this is where it is. And the dragons of Cardia are pretty close to it. But, there is nowhere to land around here. You can't land over here. You can't land in any of the corners. They're very careful to protect you from being able to do that. Normally, you would have to go all the way around and through this, some rather, through some rather difficult battles. But, there's a river right here. So, I'm just going to head back and grab the old boat. I don't actually want to do that. That is Elfland, so to the east here, and south. So if you grab the boat... You can use that to get a fairly decent head start on reaching the Castle of Ordeals. And you don't really fight that many difficult enemies around here. You just fight the ones that you encounter in the ocean. And they're mostly running away from me now. So yeah, you can just head into the river. And of course, the enemies here are considerably more difficult. You're fighting nachos and stuff like that. I can go over some nachos right now. But it is much, much shorter than walking all this way. Because here's four sphinxes. Imagine if you had to fight that every time. Back down there and heal him. Now into the item shop, use the tent to save.
Possession of the crown is required to test your courage. Take it to the royal throne and bring back proof of your courage. Good luck. See, I don't understand that because it would be impossible to get to this point without the crown. The crown is required to bring to Astos. So, I don't know exactly what they're trying to do here, but... I believe you always want to take the lowermost pillar. If there's only one pillar, then it doesn't matter. But you always want to take the lowermost pillar. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe Astos was planning on testing his courage at the Temple of Orde at the Castle of Ordeals. I don't know. That raises questions. That's a that is a good question. Why would they make the crown here if it didn't mean anything? If it wasn't a required item? Well, if it is a required item, why do they make it required here? Hit this guy with some ice. Oh shit. Good, good, good. Freeze their asses. Maybe. I, I am curious about what exactly was going through their heads when they came up with that. I mean, the idea of having a crown and entering the throne room, I guess they may, they work together. The concepts work together okay, but... Holy shit, he just killed Isaac. You bastard. Something tells him I should just be running from all these assholes. Those red gargoyles, these guys are kicking my ass and they're not even giving me that much experience for it. Thankfully, I have a lot more health life charges. Isaac is my Kenny. Um, at least it's not uh, Bob or Jake anymore. I'm so glad my health potions are at the bottom now, so I can just hit up to go to them instead of having to go over like that. Yes, you always want to take the lowermost pillar. In that case, there's absolutely no puzzle involved. There's going to be something here, isn't there? Yes, there is. A mud golem. What are they weak to? Um, let's try lightning, I guess. I didn't do shit. Built a crap load of damage though. Damn. And I found those Zeus gauntlets. That actually is useful as an item. I believe that casts lightning on everybody. These are Medusae. I'm just going to run from the Medusae. Nope, they didn't stone anybody. See, that that was a set of three, so you had to take the lowermost one. Zombles. Zombles. I believe I can take these guys out with fire spells and harm. 
Or I could just punch him to death. That works too. Nightmare. And the heel rod. That is what I needed. I am going to give that to Isaac. And for armor, I'm going to give the Zeus gauntlet to Sono. It is insanely useful. Oh, wow. Okay, we can just keep fighting nightmares here. They don't give that much experience points, though. We found an iron gauntlet. Isn't as useful. Ice sword, again, not as useful. And a gold ring. Might be more useful. Trade the gold for the copper. Equip the gold. Man cats. See, now if I don't want to actually be casting anything like a heal spell, I can just use the Zeus Gauntlet in battle. And if I want to heal, I can just use the Heal Rod. It doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but it's decent. It's okay. And it hits all the enemies, which is good. Well, when I have my when I have Jake and Bob there for DPS, I really don't need it. But if I just use the heal rod every turn, that will insanely count down on the amount of potions that I have to use. It's about as good as maybe half a potion on every character. So, times four characters, that's two potions every time I use it that it's saving me. Shitload of gold. Shitload of gold. Nothing. A house. And nothing. Literally. And we get a tail. Just a random tail. But the idea of characters collecting animal tails came from this game. That's where it came from. And if, once you step up here, zombie dragons, well, a zombie dragon, they could potentially be more. Gonna cast harm and uh, lightning. Okay, <laughs> that works. Um, 500 points. Might as well grind a bit. Isaac desperately needs more points. Two zombie dragons, okay. Heal up every round. I wish I could automate this, but no. <laughs> the Zeus Gauntlet killed him. So no is stunned, but still gets level up. Status. Isaac needs 8,000 more. Yeah, Sono is leading the group. Um, I'll probably keep going until I re all of them reach level 24. Fight down, fight. 
I meant to use item, but whatever. So that's uh, 3,000. Probably heal you. Since the heal rod is not quite doing enough work. That's also really bad. Oh shit, Jake. There we go. Uh, 5,000, I think. Status. Yeah, 5,000. Isaac gets one more, and that should do it for him. There, Jake levels up. There, and there we go. They're all at level 24. What's Sona's status look like? 12,000, 21,000, 81. Damn it, Isaac needs one more. So if you, test, you step onto the throne and you get taken right back down again. That was fast. Didn't expect to get in a random battle immediately. Catman. Catman, na 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 na. Why did that one take so long? Jeez. And now we have to head back to. The airship, because that's the last we're gonna need of the regular ship. Where is that? Is that the Marsh Cave? At least the Zeus Gauntlet makes short work of them. I am over here, so we sail east or west. Last sea battle. It's gonna be the last sea battle of the game. There we go. And that was the last we needed of that. So we head back up to Cardia. Uh, this is Melmond. There's Cardia, and that is... I believe that is Bahamut's cave. Yes, it is. The tail of a rat proves your courage. I shall give you the honor due true warriors. And now we have hit puberty. And all of our characters have leveled up to the next class. So now we have a 
master, another master, a white wizard, and a black wizard. I don't know why it's a rat tail. I have no idea. Apparently you can't get a rat tail anywhere else. You would have thought maybe a dragon tail, but no. It's just a bunch of zombie dragons. You wouldn't have known it was anything if the special music hadn't played. No, he looked like some sort of a soldier or something. Look at that. He looks like fucking Guile. Well, at least he gets the sprite upgrade and looks different. At least he looks... At least he looks different that he fits in with the rest of them, I guess. <laughs> I mean, nobody, nobody gives a shit about the upgraded classes. Everybody always shows the sprites. I mean, even, even 8-bit theater used the original sprites of the characters because nobody gives a shit. It's like, yeah, well, they're all, yeah, they're all technically male, I guess. Which is funny, I guess a lot of people just assume the white mage to be female, because who else wants to go around healing people? The sprite doesn't even look feminine, though. It's like... Well, this... this exactly, the sprite doesn't look feminine. He has long hair. I mean, of course, there's also the characters like the Medic in TF2, he goes around healing people, but they made him fucking insane. Can I buy potions here? I can, but it's the second one down. What are my items like? I... shit, I need a lot of heal potions. I want to think I'll be okay if I head on into the Sea Shrine without it, but... Let's get seal um, him to learn Heal 3. Actually, no. Heal 3 I only ever use in battle, and... I already have Heal 3, technically. I guess it would give me extra charges, but... Saber doesn't work. Blind... Uh, I don't know. I really should have gone to Gaia first. Yeah, I'll get Blind and then the other two spells over in Gaia, because I know Saber doesn't work. And it only has three slots anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, heal three or anti-rub? Anti-rub is good because it protects against instant death. But I usually don't bother with the anti-spells. The only things that I really know about, about using well are the anti-fire, anti-ice, stuff like that. Uh, if I did get heal three, that would give me extra spell charges for it, though, as well. Which would be good. Anti-rub is very situational, but if there's things that can cast instant death, usually I'll just run away. Anti-rub is very situational. I think the other spells are Cure 4 and Harm 3. It would be nice to have another Harm spell, because my regular Harm spell has been crap. So I'll probably get heal three and the cure four and harm. Okay, now I gotta head back over to Gaia. So I gotta head back through this. <laughs> 
An ankylo. Damn, he has a lot of health. Saber T. God damn, that did a lot of shit, a lot of damage to Jake. Over to Gaia. Now to buy some more level 7 spells. Can I learn. No, I can Isaac learn Ice 3? He already knows Ice 3. Break, I believe, turns them all to stone, which I have not found to be terribly useful. Sono, you get Cure 4. And you get Harm 4. Since anti-rub is pretty useless to me. I can also sell all my weapons that I don't need. Sell Jake's flame sword. Sell Jake's ice sword. Bob have anything? Bob does not have anything. Out of the way, bitch. The fair at the spring is kidnapped, but I rescued her. The pro ring. Um, the pro ring is supposed to be really freaking good. Um, I want to kind of want to get four of those, or at least two of those. Oh, okay. Uh, you will sell Sono's gold, not the Zeus gauntlet. I have enough money. Yeah. Um, I'll sell the gold ring. And I'll buy the Pro Ring. Sell Jake's... <laughs> He's wearing cloth armor. He's got cloth armor on him. Sell the Ice Shield. The Ice Armor. Anybody else have stuff they can sell? Alright, armor. Equip. The pro ring. Pro ring replaces the gloves. So I could have given him the gloves and the golden ring. Or the pro ring and the golden ring. Whoops. <laughs> I can't equip the Zeus gauntlet, can't I know. Sell the gloves. And any weapons here? Cat claw. What the hell does the cat claw do? Ah! Evil eye! I don't. I think the cat claw is. It's either good or bad. It's either really good or useless to me. Katana, axe, knife, staff, hammer, nunchucks, other. Fist. Where the hell is it? Coral Sword, Rune Sword, Katana, Falchon, Scimitar. There it is. Oh, the Cat Claw is a type of knife. Okay, that's a good weapon for the Black Wizard. Okay. I will certainly get. I will certainly get you a Cat Claw then. And I will sell your Mithril knife.
Ugh. Alright, good night, Kataro. I'll probably be ending pretty soon. I don't think I'm ready to go into another dungeon tonight. But I did reach class change and ready to take on the water shrine, so I will that will be next time. But first I gotta go buy some level eight spells in here. Which are over here. Not Jake. Sono. Fade Wall Exfer. Um, what do these all do? Magic. White magic. Fade is holy. It deals holy damage. Well, it deals non-elemental damage to all enemies. That is good. It's it, it's basically the holy spell. Wall is act is also really good. Protects against elemental damage. And life too. So yeah. Um, I will be getting those three. I will not be getting Exfer, I'll be getting Fade and Wall. And I'm actually running out of gold. Wow. <laughs> Isaac, you are getting... Um, I don't know which of those are actually any good. Again, looking at the list. Nuke, Stop, Flare, and X. Stops time for enemies, deals 10 to 100 to 400. That was an instant death, more powerful than Rub. Um... Zap targets all enemies, kill, or X targets one enemy. Mmm... I kind of want to get stop, actually, because that may be better for crowd control. Nuke would also be really good. But I am not, I'm not going to get any of these, actually. I'm going to save up my money to get Nuke. And I may actually go do that right now. I can go to Lefian without having to get, without having the slab. just a matter of walking there. I forgot Jake is almost dead. I remember this group. Cast harm four, that should kill them all, actually. And Jake is the only guy left, huh? Oh, you were here from you were here to the end. And I appreciate that. Lupa, Lupa. Isaac, you get... I can't afford that. Um, I'm gonna buy Nuke. And I am going to grind for some more exper for some more gold. Because I don't want to leave this place without having life too.
That takes out all the wolves. And the Zeus Gauntlet finishes them off. Will I reach the money before I reach the next level? That is the question. Use your fire attack now. Hurry. There we go. Wow, this gauntlet did really short work of them. Oh no, Jake. Damn, that healed a lot. <laughs> Sono gets a level up. How much money do I have now? I have 44. Um, I gotta stay at the inn. If there is an inn here. There isn't an in here. Lovely. Can we go in that door? I will use a tent. Save just in case something bad happens. I don't expect it to, but just in case. charge left. Use it on yourself, Sona. Do I have not quite enough? Thank you. 
believe that's enough. I, think, I believe they're 60,000 each. Out of the way, asshole. Sono gets life two. Alright, and that's all I need in Lefian for now. So now I will head back to the north. Oh, not the silver hammer. You're not Maxwell. Do I have any more spells? I don't have any healing spells left, do I? No. Should've just used the Zeus Gauntlet, actually. One fight away. He's two fights away. A T Rex. We have a T Rex. Jake gets a level up. Yay. I want to do one more fight before I go. There we go. Back to this place. Nope, one more. One more the other way. Now, Ocho. to buy healing potions. Shit! <sighs> and fuck, I just run. Damn it! Jake died. Cornelia, ho! No, there. I like how the way the black wizard looks on the world map. That's awesome. First buy a shitload of heal potions. Can't carry anymore, okay. Now to the clinic. And finally, replace them. Put Jake in the front. And into the inn. Now head back. PR. Not into the damn forest. Not 
Not your dies. Can I make it? Yes, I made it. With only one battle. I have plenty of gold. I will stay here. And that will do it for today. Thank you everybody for stopping by. When we continue next time, we will head into the Sea Shrine. So I will see all of you later. Bye bye.